It was a day much like any other day. I looked out the window and the concrete was breathing its paranoia and all the members of the street. As I walked down the hall, I had the feeling the trouble would be waiting to stare me straight into the face. I stopped by the show who sells newspapers down on the corner, asked him if he'd seen this girl named Betty and her sister. They went to L.A. They owe me ten bucks. You know? back to my office about two o'clock in the afternoon. I went to stick my key into the lock and through the glass door I could see someone moving around suspiciously. As I opened it cautiously the telephone began to ring and I moved across the floor easy. All of a sudden a ton of bricks hit me on the back of the neck. I fell into a deep black abscess and then I woke up I was staring at up early that night, and I swear I could hear it laughing, everyone was laughing, I reached my hand into a pocket, I pulled out a telephone number without a name, I thought for a minute, and dialed it, I waited for a long time, and a very, very female voice made an answer, she was 